With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Now here we have to define vector product of two vectors. So basically, these are the vector product is the operation on two vectors. So basically, there are two types of vector product that is dot product and second is second will be cross product okay so basically dot product of two vectors gives magnitude only so basically dot product of two vectors gives only magnitude but direction is direction is not specified okay and in cross product it gives magnitude okay so cross product of two vectors give gives magnitude along with the direction along with the direction let us say there are two vectors that is our a vector that is our a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap and let second vector be our that is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap so the dot product of these two vectors will be so dot product of these two vectors will be that is a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 and the dot product of i cap i cap dot i cap is 1 which is equals to j cap dot j cap okay that is also equals to k cap dot k cap now cross product of these two vectors will be so cross product so that is defined by a vector cross b vector so basically dot product is defined as is defined by a vector dot b vector okay so the cross product will be that is consisting of determinant in which row 1 is i cap j cap and k cap and in row 2 it will be consisting of coefficient of i cap j cap and k cap of vector a so this will be a1 a2 a3 okay now in row 3 it will be consisting of coefficient of i cap j cap and k cap of vector b so this will be b1 b2 and b3 now expanding this determinant along row 1 we can write this as i cap into a2 b3 minus a3 b2 minus of g cap will be so this will be a1 b3 okay so here this is our 1 so a1 b3 minus a3 b1 now plus of k cap will be a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so here you can see that it will the magnitude of this vector this cross product will be equal to magnitude of these that is sum of squares of coefficient of this one okay so this will be under root of a2 b3 minus a3 b2 to the whole square plus a1 b3 minus a3 b1 to the whole square okay plus a1 b2 minus a2 b1 to the whole square so basically this is giving our magnitude along with the direction here these are the directions okay and dot product is given is giving us only magnitude so this completes our solution for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today